should I train with an injury? Um, it's really up to you, and it very much depends on the injury. If you've got a neck or spinal injury, I would suggest sit out for a while till you're healed up. If you've got a broken bone to the point where it's in a cast, you can do one of two things. If it's if it's a grappling art, or if it's a striking art and you've got a leg cast or a wrist cast, can you work around it? In that, if you've broken your left wrist, you can still train, you just now have to focus on right arm techniques. If you're grappling and you've got a leg cast or a wrist cast, I would suggest sit out because you're going to end up clobbering people or grating down their skin with it and your training partners aren't going to be able to be happy with that. If it's a slightly pulled muscle, if it's a sprained this or whatever, it's completely up to you. I, I hate this thing of not going to be able to make it this week, I've done something to myself. Ah, oh, come on, just train through it, plough through the pain. Well, fuck you. This is a hobby to me. I come to training because I enjoy it. If I'm coming to training and I'm doing it hurt and that injury is then exasperated so I'm injured for longer, or if that injury is then stopping my day-to-day -day life, then I'm not going to do it. But again, it, everybody trains for different reasons. I was very, very upfront with people whenever I go to a different club to train, because I do train in individual styles throughout the week. This is a hobby for me. I'm doing this because I enjoy it. If I don't enjoy it, I leave. That's not the same thing as if it's difficult, I leave. Again, judo and boxing I'm very, very big on. Judo was one of the judo was probably the hardest training I've ever done. And I fucking loved it, but it was tough as hell. It was other circumstances and in factors outside of the training that meant I left that particular judo club. Now, if it's not comfortable, if you're not happy with it, if you can say, look, I've got other stuff in my life that's more important than training. I'm not showing up this week, I've got to get this work done, you shouldn't be guilt-tripped for that. Remembering that the people who are higher up in the club, they love it because they're higher up in the club. They can they can get to toy around with people, and because they're good at it, it's not as hard, much hard work for them. The guy running the club, he or she is running the fucking club, so of course they're going to show up and love it, because they're in charge. When you're, This is why it's very good to, no matter how high up you get in something, keep white belt mentality. Put yourself at the bottom of somebody else's class so you can understand where your students are coming from. If you're, if one of your students says, oh, it's my daughter's um, school talent show, I've got to go watch that. Oh, mate, come on, she's only going to be on stage for 10 minutes. Once, once she's done, leave. No, you can't tell people that. So it's the same thing with an injury. If you're injured, it's up to you. If you think you can go through with the injury without making it significantly worse, then go show up to training. If you can train around it, such as if you've got a broken arm, you can still do the striking stuff with the other arm, get really good with the opposite side techniques. If you're going to cause injury to other people through your injury, then don't show up. So if you've got a leg cast or a wrist cast, don't show up to grappling because you're going to be grating down people's skin with it, you're going to be clobbering people with it, and they're not going to appreciate it. So it's up to you. Take those factors into consideration, but again, it is completely up to you.